Yeah, well, I, th I think the first important thing to say is that uh, everyone should come here, regardless of what faith they are, of what background they are. They need to come and see this because it's only when you come here that you see the full horror. In terms of what the club's doing, we are fundamentally against discrimination at all levels. And um, anti-Semitism, as you know, unfortunately, is on the rise in Europe and elsewhere. And we feel we have a role to play in actually trying to suppress it and eradicate it over time through education and through making sure that not just our players understand what's going on, but the wider public as well. How was uh, your visit so far? What have you learned? What are you hoping to take home with you? Well, obviously, today we're here at Auschwitz to learn about the past and how, how horrible it is. And I think to take back to our teammates, you know, we learn how how we all have to be together and equality is really important. And yesterday we uh, visited the town of Krakow and how um, how it's, got, how it's got better life here now and how, how we can promote it to back home. As soccer players, do you feel that you have a responsibility, an ability to reach and to influence in these fields? Uh, yeah, I think we do because we have a big following, or some of us do anyway, and then uh, we can express our um, what's it, experiences when we come here and tell people how it's felt. So, yeah. Have any of you felt anti-Semitism, racism throughout the years? Yeah. yeah. Throughout the years, I felt racism every now and then on the pitch, but um, I think it's just due to a lack of education, and it can be eradicated by just educating others and staying together, because when we're together, it's harder to defeat us, and just like moving on forward and not living in the past, like, but knowing about the past and learning about it. More and more, soccer has been getting a reputation of having a racism problem. Is that reputation justified? Does soccer have a racism problem? No, I don't think, I think it's, it's all about learning. I think um, all of us here today, again, it's all about everyone learning that equality is really important. And by learning, we um, it's, it's about us stamping it out. But I don't think it's just in football. I think it's everywhere at the moment. So Yeah, you've got to remember that a club like us has hundreds of millions of supporters that cover the full cross-section of society. And unfortunately, there are elements of that society that hold views that are abhorrent to us. Um, but they do listen. Uh, some listen to a certain extent, some don't listen at all, but they do listen. And that's why we feel we have a responsibility to speak out against all uh, uh, discrimination of all types. Now this year the New England Revolution followed Chelsea to the March of the Living. Uh, is this something that Chelsea initiated and would you like to see more football teams? follow Chelsea here? Well, it's, a, it's a joint project between the two teams this year so I, it's not that they followed us they came with us as uh, partners and uh, I would encourage every football club to uh, run trips here it's, it's only when you come here you understand the scale of the horror. Can uh, anyone tell me a specific exhibit that moved them especially that really made an impact? Um, I think when we just came out of this the block four the, um, the room with all the um, the ladies' hair. I think that was like that was really touching because it shows you how much how much they like tortured the ladies and what they did to them. And I feel that really like touched me. And it was kind of terrifying as well to just see how the amount of hair that was there, to see the amount of people that died. That's just yeah. I think um, the um, yeah I knew about the Holocaust, but I didn't know as much as I do now. Yeah. Because um, I learned about it in school and things, but as I've come here now, I've ex like I've seen things that I haven't seen before. And it's yeah, it's just making it's our knowledge yeah. and made us more at school. But then when you come here to actually experience it, completely yeah, it's completely different and it's a it's a lot worse. So I think we take that back with us. And can you tell us a little bit about the daily action that the, the club uh, that the, the club is about doing for it with you? Well, we're doing it in many different ways. So we do it in terms of education programs, in the information that we put out from the club. So we also, uh, that's for the, the public and our supporters, but even internally with our women's team, which is a highly successful women's team. For instance, last week we had a Holocaust survivor who came in and spoke to the team and explained exactly what she went through. So we believe in education of our, our own players, um, our own staff, but also to the wider public as well.